driving to the airport. I'm gonna fly to St. Louis because I hear that St. Louis is lovely this time of year. I think Kate said like low 90s, 95% humidity, that kind of thing. Going to the big tent. It's a Presbyterian national event held right at Washington University, which is where daughter Kate is finishing up her PhD. So a few years back, someone had the brilliant idea of only holding General Assembly every other year because all the fighting and complaining and bitching and moaning was a lot and we could get our business done in alternate years. And then someone else said later, well, you know, there's a real power and beauty community building to having a national gathering. So let's have the national gathering, uh, but without the politics, every other year from General Assembly, we'll call it the Big Tent. So I'm going to hang out with a bunch of Presbyterians, worship together, do some singing and praying, listen to some inspiring, I hope, speakers and preachers, especially talk about race and the church. 88 degrees in Denver. So, pretty unpleasant around here too. Coming across the highway, traffic's picking up because it's July 3rd and it's 4.45 in the afternoon. People are heading out, getting a couple days off. And I-70 is always crowded through here. Just past the Purina factory always makes me oddly kind of hungry, I feel, and I feel guilty about that. Race relations. What do race relationships even mean in Littleton, or God, let alone Conifer? I see people of color so seldom. Denver Presbytery allows me to interact somewhat with Hispanic and Blacks and Asians. Boy. How do we make sense? Black Lives Matter is volatile in my neck of the woods, mainly because there are some white folks who said, oh yeah, my life matters too. And it doesn't matter that I've had every privilege ever given to any race of people ever. When you say Black Lives Matter, it upsets some white folk. No one wants to talk about race who's white. God, can we just... Uh, can't we just be in a post-racial society? Apparently not. Apparently, although you wouldn't know it from Genesis Presbyterian Church or downtown Conifer, apparently there's still racism in our society. What do we have to say about it? What are we going to do about it? And especially, what are we going to do about it if such a large section of our population doesn't believe it's a problem, resents even bringing it up, develops policies to make sure it continues denying minorities the vote, insisting all lives matter? What do we do when racism is so deeply, deeply embedded in everything we're doing. Oh boy. That's me. Let's see, park in row Z. Been doing this for 11 years at DIA. Never once has that worked for me. But <laughs> maybe today, maybe today's different. All right. Load them up. W2. I don't even know what to make of that. 